Hi everybody, welcome back to Wenatchee River Institute's Plant ID series. This week we're going to be looking at a plant that is arguably the largest organism on earth. And I have it right here in my own backyard. Let's take a closer look at the leaves of the quaking aspen tree. So as you can see the leaves are broadly heart shaped with a point on the end and the edges are bumpy. And the stalks of the leaves are flat. And this flat stalk is what makes the leaf have a lateral movement when the wind blows which is what makes the leaves quake in the wind, and that's how the aspen gets its name, the quaking aspen. So the trunk of the quaking aspen tree has this white colored bark, and actually when you rub your fingers on the bark, you get a white powder that can be used as a natural sunscreen. So at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that quaking aspen can be considered one of the largest creatures on earth, and that's because of their asexual reproduction. So they clone themselves by sending up new aspen trunks out of their roots. So here I unearthed some of the roots that are probably connected to one of the aspen trees in my yard, and you can see here it's sending up a new aspen from one of the suckers of the roots. So this process led to a very large organism of quaking aspen growing in Utah and it took over 106 acres of land. So one of the neatest facts about quaking aspen trees, they are the widest ranging American tree growing from Alaska to New England. But in Washington state, the quaking aspen trees are only found on the east side slopes near streams. Thanks everybody for tuning in for this week's episode of the Plant ID series. While you're out hiking around, make sure to listen for the wonderful sound of the quaking leaves of the aspen tree.